Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide which is where I show you guys how to complete this week's Forzathon as quickly and as easily as possible. Now this week's one called Corton in a Flash wants you to use any rally monster car to complete the following challenges in and they are quite easy so without further ado let's pick out a rally monster. So as you can see, I have quite a few in my garage and I'm sure that a lot of you guys do as well. There's plenty of Hoonigan and Gymkhana ones. It's pretty much a lot of the hardcore rally cars. If you can't find any in your garage, there's always gonna be some for sale in the auction house. Now I used uh, the Ford Fiesta, the Raul Letterman one to complete the challenges as pictured. Um, so let's get stuck into the first challenge here. It just wants you to earn 20 ultimate drift or e-drift skills in your rally monster. Now to do this, I headed over to the express rail yard but you can do this anywhere even on that big roundabout you see at the end of the motorway it doesn't really matter now I'm sure that you guys know how to get an e-drift skill or just a normal drift skill it's fairly easy the difference between an e-drift and a normal drift is just the use of a handbrake so if you're going to get an e-drift skill then you're going to use a handbrake if you just want a normal drift skill you just enter into a drift with like a hardcore power slide sort of thing um, but it's super easy to do now as you might have noticed i haven't mentioned anything about a tune that's because you don't really need one on any of the rally monsters to be fair especially this fiesta it's a cracking little car uh, and it's definitely plenty powerful enough i'd recommend probably using as well some of the normal hoonigan cars the ken block ones as they'll do this sort of challenge very easily and they take it in their stride so it's not a difficult one at all it just depends how long it's going to take you to complete really but just do some massive donuts in a big open space like this and you'll have it done in about five minutes ten maximum but a nice easy first challenge there now the next one wants you to earn a total of 15 stars from speed zones which again is super easy and i'm sure you know where i'm gonna go with this one so if you look over here you'll see the forest green speed zone now to get three stars on here for each run, all you have to do is hit a average speed of 90 mile an hour, which is very, very easily done, no matter what rally monster car you're using. So like I said, this one is stock, as stock as it sort of comes, which isn't stock, but it doesn't have a tune on it, and it takes this one in its stride. It's really, really easy to get around. And all you need to do if you're getting three stars on each run is just do five runs, back, forth, back, forth, and you'll have this challenge completed again in probably about five minutes. So not a difficult one at all there. Now, moving on to the final challenge here, it wants you to win three dirt racing series events, which again is as easy as it gets. And the reason for that is because of course, I have created a special blueprint event for this. So if you head up to Glen Rannock, you will see a race here called the Glen Rannock Trail. Now, if you go onto this one uh, and have a look on the blueprints, I've created one called Forzathon Easy. Now the share code for that is 733. 545904 you type that in and this race will pop up and it's one where the ai driver tires just shoot off into the distance and leave you with a straight shot to the finish line it's like 0.2 miles long so it's really really quick it'll only take you about 10 to 15 seconds per race so it'll actually spend even longer just in loading times than it does to complete the race but all you have to do is win that once and then twice and then a third time and that's the final challenge complete like i said super super easy now hopefully this guide has helped you out but if you're struggling with anything just let me know down below in the comments and i'll try my very best to help you out apart from that folks i want to wish you all the best make sure you stay safe and take care <laughs>